right now at this point? Well, my my goal right now is to get me a, a, a million dollars, you know. <laughs> I mean, with all this talent I got, you know what I'm saying, my goal is to take my talent and make it pay for itself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and bring some of my friends along with me. Like, I'm in L.A. right now, so I got a lot of new friends that's out there that's in the comedy business, right? So what we want to do, we want to take those guys and, you know, and make them stars, you know, put movies out with them and, and do a lot of things. And, and these are the things that, you know what I'm saying, you do because you got to be a servant of the people. If you don't serve the people, then they can't serve you. Right. So, you know, they say find something that you enjoy doing by helping others and that will facilitate you into a different realm because some people are so selfish that, you know what I'm saying, they don't know how to reach out and touch people, you know? So that's what it's all about. That's real. So when you make this million dollars, I say if. Okay. But when you make this million dollars, these millions okay, okay. of dollars, how are you going to give back? Well, well, right now we've got a thing that we call Music Crank. So Music Crank is a program that we're developing, me, Solomon, Grant Bardo, and uh, the team that I've been working with for a while, where we're going to have a facility to help the young people create music, videos, so we're going to teach them all the skills that they need to do on how to market and how to develop music and different like things like that. Because I've been on radio, at one time I'm on TV and radio at the same time. Yeah. So I mean that's big when you can say, hey, I've actually been on TV, I've been on radio at the same time. Commercials, music, but I still ain't got no money. <laughs> I ain't got no money. I need to get some money. But all this talent I got, you know what I'm saying, we just got to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's our next thing, propel in Excel. No doubt. When y'all get the music work thing, you know I gotta have a little slot to teach the Yeah, art, yeah. Man. Yeah, you know we're gonna teach saying? the kids, we're gonna teach the kids a lot of different things, Poetry. you know what I'm saying? We're yeah, working on that. Piece of that. Oh, it's you, gonna be big. Yeah, yeah. We wanna have that entity right here in Rockford, Illinois. And uh since we connected well connected with Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, we could take a lot of our people and, you know, make them stars, you know. Let them tell the stories that they wanna tell. You know, all these film producers out here, all these people who got books and movies that they want to do. Okay. We want to give them that opportunity because if they don't have that, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know, you just waste it by the side because there are people who got scripts, there are people who got music and songs, but they never recorded them. They, they got books and everything, you know what I'm saying. So I took off, matter of fact, I took off uh, a whole scene for about seven years, you know, at one particular time. And uh, I was with my nephews, and I come in the house, and they got like a book full of songs. I said, what y'all studying for, to be a doctor or something around here? So I took them to the studio, and I said, well, let me show y'all how to uh, make a record. That's when I wrote the song, Get Your Hand Out of My Pocket. And after <laughs> I hit that one, I've been moving ever since then, man. So I just came back. I got a touch of it again, and I've been moving. That's been about, probably about 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Revolutionizing the step game. Yeah, you know, hey, hey, it's everybody like that. This man is, hey, this man is something else. You know what I'm saying? He's something else. You know, and really, what you're doing is 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 greater than just doing songs, shows, having a network. It's changing lives. Yeah. If they, you know what I'm saying with the with the vision that you have, right? And you have the potential to change lives, man. These kids don't have access to these sort of things, but there's a great interest, right, in these things in this art that the kids have, but they have no way to exercise it, no vehicle, you know right. what I mean? So it could be so, we need it so bad around here. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I think so too. I think the youth uh, need to understand the new way that the music business work, that the film business work. Right now, you don't even have to be on TV. You can go straight to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, all these different platforms and make the same amount of money that you can make by being on TV, so. And cutting out the middleman. Cutting out the middleman. But the whole thing is having the funds to market and do everything that you need to do. And that's basically why we're trying to, you know, put this project together right now so we can have that funding so we can fund the projects that we want to come out with. Okay. Okay. Man, this has been great interviewing you. It's yeah. been very informative. This is my dude right here. I believe in him, man. I've seen him do a lot of things, man. Y'all got to look out for him, man. So, man, you any shots? Budo Film, what's up with Grant? Uh, I want to shout out to my boy Solomon Battle. 
So, so. I want to give a shout out to Grant Bardot. I got some friends in Hollywood. I got Joseph Collins. I got Sharifa. I got Rachel. I got Tim. I got a lot of good friends, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, I come across in my path. I want to give a big shout out to my girl Denise from Holyfield TV because she is the one that's taking on my new show. The new show, A to Z Comedy Tour. Okay. You got to get ready for that yeah, one, so man. Yeah, let them know and, about you know what I'm saying? We got a big party in Hollywood coming up, and uh, that's going to be April 21st. It's going to be a red carpet event. I mean, it's going to be a lot of celebrities. So, this is like my first time I'm going to be able to go on stage and. And they gonna be screening my my TV yeah, show, yeah. and I'm gonna love that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to do my presidential speech. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, I might even cry on stage a little bit. But that's what I'm waiting on. Can we give a little info about the Diva Down? This man got a reality show. Oh yeah. Well, you know, went to Elgin. I got my girl Rose. Uh, she was wanted to shoot her show, so you know, I flew down from LA to uh, shoot the Diva Dial House. That's uh, Diva Dial House reality show. And it's coming straight out of Elgin. So